Welcome back to my channel, everybody. It is Nate Matthews, and today you're going to be coming on a trip with me to Seattle. This is my first time visiting, and I hope I have a lot of fun. Let's see what we get into. This is the 28-inch Cool Life luggage. About to head out on its first plane trip. I think I took it with me in the car before, but um, your boy left the tags on there. They said I shouldn't do that. You know, I look like I'm new to it, ain't true to it, traveling and whatnot. But um, we're going to see how this makes it on its first trip. 360 wheels and everything like that. It's got the uh, built-in TSA lock right there. A lot of space on the inside. I guess I'll show you guys that when we get to where we're going. See y'all soon. So I started off a bit nervous, not knowing what to expect and if my jacket would meet the expectations of Seattle weather. I heard it's very rainy out there, but once we landed, my mood switched up. Here we go. We got our bags. It was not a very long walk at all to the Link light rail, which is the way that we choose to get around. There is a lot of different ways you can get around uh, the city of Seattle, and I'll show you guys how you do it. All right, guys, so we have arrived at the SeaTac Airport. Got the bag. It did actually uh, make it on its first little demo trip right here. We still have to make our way back to, to see if it really made it, but now we're trying to figure out how to get on this light rail and head to downtown see you guys soon first thing we have to do is get a pass from the orca gonna go ahead and get two passes one thing that i can say about their transit is from what i've seen it does look like it was pretty clean as well as they weren't too crowded now the way that we got down here is we did have to purchase these Orca cards. I think it was $3 for the card. It is reloadable. I chose the smallest amount, which is $5 to load the card. And I think you can use uh, per swipe. I think it'll give you like two hour time limit to get wherever you need. So our first ride, I think was no cost because I don't know if I forgot to swipe or not. I just jumped on. But now we're walking the streets. While waiting for access to our room, we decided to stop at the Top Pot Donut Shop, and I thought it was pretty cool because one of the first things you see as you walk in is a picture of Barack Obama placing an order in this very shop. I would think that means these donuts are very presidential, even though they look a little dry, they taste amazing. Now, before we can officially get this trip started, I had to make sure my boy was okay. See, the dog that you guys see in a lot of my videos, he's usually always with us, 24 seven. But this is the first trip that he did not go on with us. So we actually sent him to a pet resort located in Las Vegas. Um, so we had to make sure we watched him on camera, wanted to make sure he was active and, you know, still playful and not too sad since he wasn't with us. Um, I wouldn't suggest taking your dog here, but I mean, we did get him back. We're glad to have him back. But moving on. Back to Seattle. And here we go, guys. We've made it to the room. Might give you guys a room tour later. But for now, just an update on the Cool Life luggage. I did tell them I was going to do a review for them a while ago. They sent me two whole sets, uh, three apiece for this color, small, medium, large, as well as a fabric one. I might embroider on it if I can and if you guys want to see it. But uh, yeah, it looks like all my wheels are still together and everything. So it made it um, on its first trip, at least the one way. I'll show you guys the available space within it. Um, this one does has just one large one large zipper here for a compartment not gonna really break it down everything i got in there um, but i will show you guys this does hold a couple pairs of shoes did i get this thing caught hold on y'all see i got my little pocket knife on there multi-use tool flip this over real quick we got what uh it's a Gucci bag here. We got some slides. We got some uh, Under Armour shoes. I might do a review on these and a couple other things like a fit check or something like that. Versace belt, another pair of kicks, um, some New Balance kicks right here. So that's what? One, two, three, four pairs of shoes, some bags, extra socks and stuff like that. Uh, I really like this bag because it, it does have a separate compartment. So your shoes don't have to touch your clothes and then uh this is the again 28 inch i think the other one was a 22 or 23 inch i can't really remember this one does have like a uh bungee cord strap right here and the way to open it is to kind of just push it through if i can get it with one hand let's see there it is i think yep loosened it up and i'll show you guys in a minute how i do my roll by the way we got some um our grooming products I almost actually kept this as a carry-on bag 
uh, or in my carry-on bag, but it got my straight razor in there, so I'm glad I remembered at the last minute. Uh, pack these as some clothes. So this one outfit right here that I brought, two, three, and four outfits with a shacket right here. So as you guys can see, again, that is one outfit, two, three, four, and have room for at least like two more outfits right there. Maybe even three if I stack two and then squeeze one right in the middle. And can I get one more on top of this? No, I don't think so. So, yeah, it's got a little bit more extra space here that I could actually squeeze in. Um, on the outside, there are no compartments like on the uh, the sides or the front or anything like that. Um, only extra feature I told you guys is the, the lock right there. Handle on the side, handle on the top. And one thing else I wanted to mention about this bag. Uh, I think this is the Nike Utility Elite um i think that's all nike utility elite backpack uh this bag right here actually did count as a personal item so i didn't have to check this bag i was able to wear it it actually fits underneath the seat so for those of you guys who are interested in either this bag and or this setup right here the link is going to be in the description and i'll catch you guys in a future update with uh what i'm getting ready to get into on my trip peace if you guys are liking what you see, make sure to stick around and subscribe to my channel, like the video, and stay tuned for the next episode. Find out where we went to see this amazing, amazing view.